What's going on everyone? CJ back here with a brand new series. That's right. This is the Madden 24 St. Louis Sentinels relocation franchise. Oh man, how I have longed for months and months to say that. Got it. Not going to lie. Getting kind of stale with Madden 23 and we got a brand new game here. The gameplay seems pretty fluid from what I've tested so far. There's a lot of good things and a lot of new additions to franchise mode. So all my franchise fiends out there should be a little bit more happy. And this is going to be a fire series, I think. So thank you so much for joining. If you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. If you like this content, consider liking the video. I drop Madden franchise content weekly. And if you are were a supporter of my Madden 23 cupcake relocation franchise, welcome back. We got another banger for you here today. So obviously you can uh, see the Washington commanders here on screen. And I'm sure that you could deduce from the thumbnail that we are not going to be the Washington commanders. So here is the storyline in Washington. So Washington commanders drama over the past few years have forced the team to rebrand and restaff. Obviously we know of the drama surrounding Dan Snyder, not going to go into that, but new owner Josh Harris has stepped in and decided to fire Ron Rivera. That's right. Since he can't stop making a fool out of himself in the media, Ron Rivera got the boot. And now we have first time head coach, your boy over here, CJ Smalls, stepping in to take the reins. That is right. So after only two playoff victories since 1999, and already flirting with the idea of rebranding and relocated. It's been brought up in questions. Josh Harris says not right now, but new owner Josh Harris in this Madden franchise has decided to relocate the team to good old St. Louis, Missouri. That is right. St. Louis has not had an NFL franchise since 2015. And we are now going to be the St. Louis Sentinels. Love that color scheme, man. What is a Sentinel? Let's see. Sentinels are shining knights keeping watch over their kingdom. And you best believe your britches that we are going to guard our kingdom here in St. Louis and hopefully rebuild and upgrade this former Washington Commanders team into something that could be great. We're going to go with the basic futuristic stadium here because I like the way that that looks. And this is the new team, guys. Happy you are here. We are in for a wild ride. Let's kick things right off and see what this St. Louis Sentinels team is all about. A quarterback, obviously a glaring need. Jacoby Brissett brought in this year, and he played pretty good for Cleveland. Of course, uh, if you don't know, I'm in Ohio, and I watched Kobe, Jacoby Brissett play all those games until Deshaun came back. So he is here, but Sam Howell, just like in real life, is at least going to get the nod over Jacoby to start. That could change. I have a feeling that this is going to be a quarterback carousel, as it really has been with the Commanders these past few seasons. Of course, Carson Wentz, Taylor Heineke, Sam Howell stepped in and played last year. Jacoby Brissett is now here. So I'm hoping quarterback's going to be the, probably the first thing that we look to. And I'm really hoping this is a strong draft class for the quarterbacks. Brian Robinson earns the starting nod as the halfback number one here in St. Louis. Of course, he's back on the field. He had his own off the field drama, as I'm sure you know. But don't forget about Antonio Gibson. He's also, we have two star development running backs. Antonio Gibson, an interesting player. He actually played wide receiver in Memphis. So maybe we have a dual threat option here. I'll probably have to work him into some formation subs, or maybe Antonio Gibson could just be, you know, trade bait to improve in some other areas that this team really needs. Team is not great. Defense is good. Offense, as you see here on your screen, really is not that good. Scary Terry though, superstar X Factor, one of the better wide receivers in the business. And let's not forget about his OSU teammate, Curtis Samuel. They are now reunited here in St. Louis, and they're gonna be the wide receiver number one and the wide receiver number two. Jahan Dotson, also a very good up and coming player, picked 16th overall in the 2022 draft. If he can just stay healthy, and play a full season, I think Jahan Dotson 
could be a problem. Offensive line and tight ends, though, not good. I mean, best piece in this puzzle here is Charles Leno and aging Charles Leno. But you see here, it's just really not that good. I mean, Sam Cosme could be something, maybe. Nick Gates is probably not the answer. We do have uh, the hidden development center here, Ricky Stromberg, the rookie out of Arkansas. Uh, he's a 69 overall. That is super nice, might I add. But I don't know if he's the answer either. I mean, offensive line is definitely something that we're going to have to target as well. And then the tight ends are, are just, they're just not going to cut it. I mean, Logan Thomas, Jesse Bates, there's nobody really here that I could really see long term. John Bates, sorry, now I said Jesse Bates. There's nobody here that I could really see sticking around long term. So the offense, especially with me behind the sticks, probably going to be a struggle here in this initial season defensively though much different story much different story indeed we start off with the defensive line which one of if not the best in the business this front four man if they can stay healthy especially chase young it's just going to be causing quarterbacks tons of pressure and tons of havoc back there we got montez sweat jonathan allen deron Payne, and chase young so again assuming that everybody can stay healthy i think we're set here in the front four linebacker room though however it needs some attention i mean outside of jamin davis former first round pick we got cody barton and david mayo i don't really think they're gonna cut it Jamin Davis could be, it will be, a long-term piece to the puzzle, but the other guys, yeah, not so much. Secondary is also pretty good. Cam Curl, he is here for the long haul, no doubt about that. Derek Forrest had a good 2022 season, a ton of upside there. And then taking a look at our corners here, Kendall Fuller, great option for us as the CB number one. And of course, Emmanuel Forbes, he, I think, is the future of this commanders or should i say st louis sentinels secondary of course the 16th pick in the past draft great corner out of mississippi state he racked up 14 interceptions his time there in mississippi state six of those being four touchdowns record-setting season at miss state and he is definitely the future for our secondary of course here in preseason we have the addition of the long-awaited training camp which many people have been barking about for years myself included man this brings back waves of nostalgia i remember just playing this for hours and hours and hours back in the old school maddens it was so much fun and i even remember uh <laughs> we'll test your knowledge and see how much how you guys remember the old school maddens like 05 06 08 i remember the freaking celebration that the players would do whenever you earned a medal it was you know same thing every time if you know you know but we are back here and i'm probably not gonna do all these on camera um you know some things like the target passing and stuff like that i mean our quarterback position is definitely a question mark but we're definitely going to do some of them. And let's start out with DB Battle. Now, this is a great way to earn some upgrades, some XP, and potentially some skill points. And it's another way to develop some of your young players. Of course, we got Emmanuel Forbes I just talked about. So why not showcase what he can do here in the DB Battle? So 8,000 points needed for a gold medal here. Instructions. Play man coverage, which I'm terrible at by the way, prevent your receiver from catching the ball. Interceptions will grant bonus points and incomplete passes will increase your score multiplier, whereas completions will reset it. Now, I was messing around with this on stream last night and or as I recorded it last night, as I record this, you do get to see the routes. So that's pretty cool. But I still think it's pretty tough. So we'll see what a manual can do here. Hopefully we can get some some uh, good coverage here. Lock up these routes Bruh. and nope, it's going to be a completion to Jahan Dotson. So not starting this thing out too well. I'm holding the turbo button. I don't know what more they want me to do. It's uh he's beating us on that initial acceleration press there and got to try to get something going here. We did not. And Jahan Dotson is just doing everything, cooking us here. I, I'm holding turbo, tried to swap the ball. There's an incomplete pass. I don't think we're going to get any type of metal on this one, though. It would be very difficult, but a pick would do it okay we're at bronze that was almost the interception app actually that would have been huge if it could have been and nope 
catch allowed there. We might still be able to salvage bronze at least, which I really want to do. So hopefully we can go. Oh, no, no. I pressed the wrong button. Drop that. He did not drop it. It's going to come down to this. Can we at least salvage the bronze medal? Please know it's going to be a touchdown. And we did get bronze. Yeah, we did get bronze. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, 20 we needed 400 more points for a silver medal. That's about as good as I'm going to be initially. Rushing attack. Wipe away the tears of nostalgia. Take control of the running back and score as many touchdowns as possible. Yes, we are going to go to Brian Robinson. I think I should be able to do pretty good at this one. Rushing attack. The instructions. Evade the defenders. Score as many touchdowns as possible. 5,500 points for gold, but I'll take bronze or silver. I don't really care. Awarded bonus points for successful skill moves. So got to get that juke and stuff like that going. Celebrating during the play will apparently uh, give you extra points as well. And then touchdowns will increase your score multiplier. Losing yards will reset it. So let's see what Brian Robinson can do here. Hopefully we just get some good blocks. That's going to be a nice edge. Didn't get any juke move, but we're going to dive into the end zone. Touchdown bonus and I I will certainly take that. So hopefully we, oh, I hit the little dummy blocking dummy. Brian Robinson breaks somebody. <laughs> that was terrible effort on my part. Not going to lie there. And there's a nice little juke. Probably shouldn't have juked on that one. It says the juke will add extra points, but I'll tell you right now, if I can just get a good block and score like this, I'm going to do it. We'll celebrate a little bit. Get in there. Uh, the timer is at 40. That ticks down every second that you have the ball. There's a nice juke by Robinson. Can we get into the end zone? We'll celebrate for a second. And we are at the bronze medal. So that's good to see. We're shooting for silver, though. Come on. It's easy to get that initial block after the edge. So we'll celebrate here. Get some extra bonus points. This one... I am definitely better at than uh, the good old DB battle, that's for sure. But it can be a little mindless because really all you got to do is just hit that first block from your fullback. And then it's pretty much off to the races, as you can see there. We'll go ahead and dive into the end zone. We're going for not going to get 5,500 probably. And that is because that's where the juke move really comes into play is it gives you the extra bonus points. But I would be totally fine with silver, which is what we're going to shoot for right now. Maybe just throw a juke in there. Maybe that'll give us some extra points. I don't know if it will or not. Silver earned. So we're not going to get the gold, which I am fine with. Let's just score a touchdown, cap this thing off, and be happy to take home the silver medal. Actually, only 10,000 away from gold. So not too shabby. We'll try a little chase and tackle action. Probably will use chase in this one as well. Chase Young, that is. Stop the offense from running the ball in a mini game designed for people who played rushing attack and thought it would be fun to be the bad guy i am the villain that yes that is for sure okay we can only use linebackers it looks like so jamin davis yes you are gonna be the guy again i think jamin davis he's easily our best linebacker hey, and i think he has a ton of upside to him so thirty thousand for the gold instructions make tackles to prevent the offense from gaining yards with the run Successful stops will increase your score multiplier and allowing three or more yards on the play will reset it. That kind of scares me a little bit, but we'll see what old Jamin has. And I don't think we're going to try any big tackles or anything like that. Maybe if we get good positioning, but I think that just going with the safe tackle is probably the way to go as we are getting some initial good stops here and some good points. Going to be hard, I think, to get him in the backfield. Maybe we're going to have to really shoot a gap in order to do that and luckily he ran into that uh dummy guy there or else i think brian robinson would have been off to the race has got a good angle that should be a tfl there we go baby now we are at bronze which you love to see i'm literally mashing the x button and brian robinson still galloped over us that might take our no we still got bronze Thought it might take our medal away there. It did not. And Brian Robinson, luckily he didn't break a tackle on that one. We're going for silver here. Come on, silver or gold. I will certainly take silver. There is a nice TFL. I'm kind of scared to do a hit stick. I got to be honest with you because I feel like Brian Robinson will... I mean, he's breaking wrap-up tackles. So, of course, he would probably break a hit stick tackle. But we might just need to force a fumble or something like that to do it i took a bad angle on that one but we did get brian robinson luckily before too much damage could be done um that time i just took the worst possible angle at least we saved the touchdown 
probably not gonna get silver here i don't think i forgot what we needed for silver but there's a nice tackle and maybe with a big play here maybe i just go for the hit stick i well i can't even <laughs> break the tackle or break the thing of the dummy there so that's probably not gonna happen going for the hit stick here there oh see that's why i didn't want to hit stick if we lose our bronze i swear to god i'm gonna be so upset okay we didn't lose our bronze but that's why I didn't want to go for the hit stick. We'll do a little target passing here just for S's and G's. Not that it's really going to matter. We'll do Sam Howell, though, of course. I guess any upgrades to Sam will be good. I don't think he's going to be our quarterback of the future. I'm definitely going to look to scout somebody in the draft. But we need 20,000. And I'm not good at this one. I was sucking on stream. Uh, but I think I need to move the quarterback around a little bit. So the instructions... Position your QB, time your passes to destroy as many targets as possible. You'll be awarded more points for better accuracy as well as for hitting deeper targets. Successfully destroying targets will increase your score multiplier and failing to do so will reset it. Now I noticed the routes, uh, yeah, they seem to all be like kind of these uh, curl routes here or uh, in routes here, which I don't really like, but maybe, yeah, see, I'm not good at this one at all so old sammy boy here might not really get too many upgrades but i'm gonna try to hit r1 and there we go two targets okay i see you i know you see your boy out here looking like i'm throwing darts so uh, let's go this way and okay throw on the run i see you sam throwing on the run hitting the targets i like what i'm seeing we're gonna try to go deep this time we got to get some deep shots going and that was not a good pass we're gonna try to hit logan thomas here but we want to move around with the quarterback that's the trick right there now i realize i'm going for the easy targets because i'm not gonna be good at this at all but I think that's the that's the move right there for sure. You got to try to break multiple targets and you also got to move your quarterback around. So we'll try to hit R1, almost hit that bullseye actually. So we might actually get bronze on this one. I don't know. We're going to try to break two targets and hit Logan Thomas. I broke one. We got bronze at least. So we at least we got something. I guess I think I'm starting to kind of figure this out a little bit. So we're going to let Logan Thomas's route develop. And okay, okay. So I'm not upset with it. Almost got silver. Only needed about 1,900 more. But I'll take the bronze, though. All right, we'll do one more wide receiver battle, which is probably the one that I'm the worst at here. Uh, red zone attack. We're going to try to score touchdowns with Jahan Dotson. Don't know if we're going to do it. Have yet to get a gold, but that's okay. I'm not mad at it at all. So wide receiver, red zone attack. Get open which I'm not going to do and catch and call for the ball with X to catch passes in the end zone and earn points catching the ball in the hot spots, which I hate the hot spots with more time remaining will earn you bonus points. Successful catches will increase your score multiplier. Maybe we can get silver. I'm shooting for silver 5,000 here, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. So we got to try to cut. We're going to call for the ball here and yeah, it's not going to be well, Okay, wasn't a touchdown. Very close, though. I think it's very difficult to, to cut on these routes. Uh, but that might be it right there. Come on, Jahan, catch that. It was good coverage there, broken up. Yeah, yet to score a point, like I said. Oh, that's it right there. That's it. Come on, Jahan, catch that. Catch that. That might just be Sam Howell being Sam Howell. I feel like we definitely did uh, break the receiver's ankles there. And I'm, yeah, I'm just not good at this one. This, this one is not good for me at all maybe i'm trying to go to these corner routes to get the 400 and it's just not happening uh i don't foresee myself really getting too many it's hard to cut i'm not used to playing the controls as the wide receiver never really ever do that for any reason so i'm not used to doing that at all um so we're just gonna lob it up and hope for the best here can jahan that was your chance jahan yeah we're not getting anything in this one hey Hey, we got one touchdown at the very end, but no points earned. And I'm not going to try again. I'm going to have to practice some of this uh, to get a little bit better. But at least we did get some upgrades for some of the people. Actually got a silver medal in the wide receiver battle. So there you go. I used uh, Curtis Samuel as the recipient of that. So he'll get a solid skill point upgrade. We'll see what old Chase Young has in the trench battle. Beat blockers to reach the QB and make the sack while staying within bounds of the trench. Quicker sacks, fumbles, and destroying the target will grant bonus points. Collecting hot spots beneath the blockers will also increase your score multiplier. So let's see if Chase, we could definitely use some good 
upgrades to Chase Young here. So we'll see what he can do. Nice little swim move there. Got to watch out for these spinning uh, pendulum looking things here. Not too sure what those are. And he can't, he can't get past the guy. Come on, Chase. You're better than that. You're better than that, man. Swim move him. There you go. You got one more defender to beat. Let's get to Sam Howe. We got everybody. Everybody on our tail. Come on. Get to Sam Howe. Boom. Destruction. But Oh, we didn't get him. How is he still up? Sam Howe. Oh, my God. What in the world just happened there? Uh, we didn't somehow tackle Sam Howe, and now we're jumping, and this, this one's tough. This one is tough. I got to be honest with you. This one is a little hard. There's a lot going on here. Uh, yeah, I just ran out of bounds. We're going to definitely retry this. One. That was very interesting. A lot going on there. I feel kind of dizzy, but I think Chase has it this time. So come on, Chase. Just do something good. There's a nice spin move there. Nice swim move. All right. See, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. Break free. Break free. Break free. You got it. Swim move. Club move. Watch out for those big spinning red things. We don't know what those are, but they're not good. Those are the bad guys. Come on, Chase. You got one man to beat. Beat him. What are you doing? Chase, how, how can you not beat him? Come on. Thank you. Oh, my God. That was stressful. I am stressed. Indeed. Chase Young has got to be better than these weak offensive linemen that, linemen that we have. Okay. Didn't uh, engage that one, but that's okay. We still got past him. Nice move. Come on, Chase. You got one man to beat. Bull rush him. Shed him. You He tackled you. What's going on? Come on. Get to Sam Howe. Get to Sam Howe. Okay. I'll take it. One more rep. Can we get silver? I would be happy with a silver. There's a nice one. There's a nice move. Come on. Come on. These offensive linemen are not that good. Trench battle, long haul, we only earn a bronze. That was stressful. And of course, a fan favorite, the field goal accuracy. If you guys watched the Cupcake franchise, you know how terrible I am at kicking kicks, but that's a perfectly timed one from Joey Sly. And we destroy the target just like that. Now, got to be careful because the timer is constantly ticking in this one. That one might actually be off a little bit, but it does hook back in. So we're at bronze at least already. And I will certainly take that. Got to line this bad boy up here. It's kind of hard because the wind is blowing viciously here in Landover, or should I say St. Louis? And that's a great kick. Did not smash the target, but that's okay. Joey Sly, I know you got it in you, brother. Got to line this up while also being cognizant of the time because we're down to 50 seconds. Destroy that target. We're at silver. Is the kicking going to be the first game that I earn a gold medal in? The thing that I am most worst at in, in Madden is kicking. It might actually be. We might actually earn the gold medal. Got to kind of be quick about this. Time is not on our side. If we destroy a target, which, oh, so close. If we can destroy another target and get amazing accuracy, I think, oh my God, I messed that up so bad. Please let it hook back in or something like that. No, not doink off the crossbar. We may not be out of it quite yet, but we're down to 17 seconds. So let me smash a target. Got to smash a target here. Come on, Joey. Oh, I was so close. Got one more good kick probably left in the tank here. Got to make it count. That could be it. Come on, hit that target. Did not, oh, destruction bonus. We got one more. Come on, one more, one more. This is it, Joey. Give us the gold. Give us the gold. I know you got it in you. I know you got it in you. You don't got it in you, but... I will still take silver for the kicking. So that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me humiliate myself on camera as I tend to do. And I got to say the St. Louis logo and the color scheme. I don't know about you guys, but I am liking it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. So we're in the preseason. What I'm going to do here, I'll sim the first two games. We'll see if anything pops up on the screen here. I am being a coach, so we might get some of those, you know, in uh, in between week scenarios like locker room scenarios and stuff like that and I probably will hop into the last game and just play the moments for a little bit or something like that but let's hop on into the weekly strategy so the weekly strategy you know I'm not gonna really one thing I am gonna do is since it is preseason we're going half pad split and that probably will be the theme of most of the franchise I don't know it depends on how regular the practice injuries are but we're definitely at least going to stick with half pad split right now because the last thing i want is to have some key guy get injured we saw that lots of times in the 
Austin Armadillo's franchise. Now, here is where it also gets a little bit interesting. So I'm sure you guys know this, but the focus players that you get, you have the opportunity to play one of those mini games that I was just making a fool of myself on each week to add additional XP and potentially skill points to the players. So it's really important who you select to be in these focus players. And I think that Emmanuel Forbes will stay. I don't think Jartarius Martin will, Jartavius Martin will because we're set on safety. I want to put somebody in there who makes a little bit more sense, like maybe a Cam Curl, maybe a Curtis Samuel, uh, Derek Forrest, actually. I think Derek Forrest, uh, uh, I don't know. We'll leave, we'll leave Jartavius Martin in there for now, only because he is hidden development, but I can tell you, we're not going to have Ricky Stromberg be the other focus player. That much is for sure. We are going to go to our halfback, Brian Robinson. I think it'll be really important to have him in there. Jartavius Martin, he's probably star dev, I would imagine, but maybe he gets the nod over Derek Forrest, just depending on how he develops. I don't know. But we do get the opportunity to play those mini games every single week, which I will do more on camera as the weeks come. I just got done playing a bunch, so I'm not going to do that right now. First game is a 20 to 17 dub against the Browns. So, I mean, hey, it's the preseason, but a dub is a dub at the end of the day. Let's see how our guys did. Let's see if anybody showed up and showed out in this one. Maybe Sam Howell had a great performance of his lifetime. Highly doubt it. Actually, as a matter of fact, wow. Okay, Jacoby, 158.3 quarterback rating, 207 yards and two touchdowns. Are you kidding me? Maybe Jacoby Brissett is the answer. Sam Howell didn't really get too much playing time. It doesn't look like only attempting three passes. But how about Jacoby with the perfect quarterback rating? Antonio Gibson Average 5.9 on the ground, so that's pretty good. Brian Robinson averaged 6.5, only carried the ball twice, but still. And Dax Milne, I don't even know who that is, out of BYU. He had 85 yards, four receptions, and a touchdown. Diami Brown played pretty good, too. So maybe some players in some early position battles. Did we have any picks? We did not. Any sacks? Jonathan Allen got one, so he must have seen a little bit of preseason action, at least. And... No forced fumbles, but man, I am impressed with Jacoby. I am definitely impressed with Jacoby. That much is for sure. And I could easily see we're going to start with Sam Howell. We're going to give him the keys to the offense, at least initially. But just like in the Cupcake Relocation franchise, we had Cam Newton and Brett Hundley, two not good quarterbacks. And we saw those two jockeying back and forth for, uh, you know, starting reps. We benched Cam Newton sometimes brought in Brett Hundley. So we'll see what happens. Chase Young going to get a, a good upgrade here. And even though moving his power rusher up will bring him closer to a scheme fit, Chase Young, of course, he's a speed rusher. We're going to continue to dump some points into the speed rushing archetype. He gets plus two to his finesse move. So that's pretty good. Uh, superstar development, as we know. But I think Chase, if he has a breakout year, and of course, big thing, can he stay healthy? Maybe we can get him back up to X Factor, which I would absolutely just be giddy about. Curtis Samuel gets an upgrade too. I think that we will bring his deep route running up because I do want to get him a little bit closer to a scheme fit that temporarily boosts him up to an 83. Gets a couple pretty solid upgrades, plus two to his medium route, plus one to his deep, couple upgrades to di different catching traits. So that's pretty good to see Curtis Samuel and Terry McLaurin that Ohio State connection as our wide receiver number one and our wide receiver number two but this kid right here Jahan Dotson yes we're gonna go deep threat for him that moves him into the scheme fit and Jahan Dotson I think is the big question mark I think he could be the future but I could also see him you know if he gets injured doesn't see the field too much maybe he falls out of rotation I really hope not because Jahan Dotson Showed so many flashes at Penn State, of course, and just really couldn't stay on the field too much last year to really showcase those skills. Now, Jamin Davis, he's going to be the core of our linebacking group. And since we are in a 4-3, 
definitely going to go past coverage and i want to improve our coverage in the middle of the field specifically because that's what i've noticed just like last year that freaking middle of the field's always open maybe that's just because i suck and i'm terrible at defense but i just i don't know man i don't i know that they're supposedly made a lot of changes to the coverage i've definitely seen it with the ai that's for sure but i still feel like in early testing of this game that and i am on all madden difficulty by the way uh, but I just feel like that middle of the field is always open. So I don't know. We're going to send past the Ravens here and then we will jump into action against the Bengals. So we actually got a training camp standout. Speak about a strong training camp performance. This is why I like being a coach. Didn't get to see these things in the Cupcake Relocation franchise. So we'll see who is a training camp standout. Jamin Davis had a strong camp and has continued to build on that this preseason. Where has he improved most? Football IQ or sure tackling? Well, I want play recognition to go up. We literally have to pry him out of the film room. If he's not on the field, I guarantee he's watching film every day and he's getting smarter and smarter. What's this guy do for fun? I don't know, but he does receive plus five to play recognition, which I am all for. We also did suffer an injury, it looks like. We had a 21-7 win against the Ravens, but we did suffer an injury. So just tell me it's not anybody key. I will be heartbroken if it is. And we got nobody really crazy. Just some backup players. So that's, I uh, kind of held my breath there for a minute. I was expecting to see, if I would have saw Chase Young, I would have quit. I would have uninstalled the game. And I would have quit a couple upgrades as well as we are nearing the end of the preseason. We will jump into this game against the Bengals. Just a backup left guard, Keaton Sutherland. So nothing too crazy. We'll just give him something to agile, I guess. He doesn't look like a very agile gent to me. Kind of got some jelly rolls going on there. So maybe he can uh, get a little bit more fancy footwork. We'll give him some help in that department. Get a look at Sentinel Field here in St. Louis, Missouri, as we play our final preseason bef game before the regular season. Just going to play the moments here. Sam Howell and Joe Burrow uh, looking like they got some sort of quarterback rivalry there. I don't think that anybody will ever say that in the history of ever but i really like these jerseys i hope that you guys like the st louis sentinels i did a lot i really really went through all the teams and the cities and i wanted you know i like alliteration austin armadillos aa st louis sentinels ss i like that and the sentinels seem bad and the description a knight who guards his kingdom Hey, I don't know. It seems to fit for me. So it's third down alert here. Are we on offense or defense? That's the question. Looks like we are on offense. So I think that we can pick this up. Let's just do something safe and let's try to run it with Brian Robinson. I like the way that that sounds here. Again, gameplay seems to be really fluid in this one. I really, really like it. Robinson gets the edge. There we go. It's all that mini camp paying off. All that mini camp paying off. Your boy knows how to run the football now, I guess, apparently. And Brian Robinson picks up a big first down. So we'll continue on to the next moment in the red zone now. So hopefully we can score. It's first and 10 from the 16. So what do we want to do here? Um, Let's go aggressive. We're going to come out of the shotgun and maybe see if we can hit like a corner route or something. I'll probably pick it off. It'll probably be picked off. I wouldn't doubt that, but we're going to be looking scary Terry's way. Oh, and he actually burned his man. Lob it over the head. Look at scary. I'm telling you, you got to watch out for your boy here. I might be on to something this year, or maybe it's just luck. Probably the latter, but that was, I mean, that was a good route. That was a good read. And Terry McLaurin, the former Ohio State Buckeye, punches it in for six. Big third down. We got to make the stop here. It's third and five. Ball smack dab on the 50-yard line. And defense is, I still think, is tough in this one. I just, defense is not my strong suit, as you guys probably know. Uh, but we're going to be watching this middle of the field, man. The middle of the field always gets open for me, and I can never figure it out. Okay, well, good coverage there. Kendall Fuller, I guess, knocked it out, or perhaps just a drop by the Bengals' Jamar Chase, which you don't see too often. But, hey, we held him, and we're up 7-0. Big third down again. 28 seconds to go in the first quarter. This time, oh, somehow the Bengals got the ball back. Okay, so we're on defense. 
surely we can get Joe Burrow off the field on third and on third and nine, right? I don't know. We are going to try our diddly darndest on this one. And there is a nice completion there. Jamar Chase does not drop it that time. And that's a big chain mover into the second quarter here. It is second and three from the 15. So the Bengals are coming out shotgun, but wouldn't be surprised if it was a run to mix in, which it looks like it probably will be. So we are going to go ahead and show blitz on this one. Hopefully. Oh, it's a quarterback keeper. Come on, Joe. You ain't a scrambler like that. Come on. You ain't no Josh Allen. You ain't no Pat Mahomes. You ain't no Justin Fields. Emmanuel Forbes gets him. And now the Bengals are in third down again. And we are going to pinch the line here. And we are also going to audible into a blitz. Can we get some good penetration? Oh, Joe Mixon was able to squeak by just barely, but it was still good defense. And I will say the run defense seems a lot better. Again, I if you watch me on stream the other night, my initial thoughts, we were stopping the run. Just the pass, we couldn't really stop the pass. Offense wasn't too bad. I was playing pretty good on offense, but it's just the defense, which I don't know. You know, slider changes may be in order as we progress on down the road here. I don't know. Uh, trying to get a really good feel for the gameplay. Uh, one thing I do like a lot, and it may be a minor thing to some, is the post game. I'll show you guys the post game. Well, I probably won't do it there because it's a touchdown. But when the play is over, I mean, all the players, all the players really uh, just get engaged with it. You don't see guys really standing around looking like NPCs too much. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, so we're going to look at these guys who aren't on the play here and there's definitely a lot of pushing a lot of shoving which i like but yeah i mean everybody's kind of getting into it. a little shoulder check there from jonathan taylor or uh jonathan allen flashbacks of the colts who killed me last year and uh, see number 71 there he's fist bumping so lots of player emotions i really like that and it just feels like more of a real game so new possession here we start off on the 25 might have brian robinson who's lined up on the outside in single coverage which i actually don't like it we're gonna try to fit it in the seam there and that was just a bad pass by me no excuse for that one as i tried to force it into a very tight window i guess that we just have all the moments right now i guess it's not gonna give it back to the cpu which all right i'm fine with second and ten here coming out shotgun who wants to get open it's terry mclaurin recipient of that great touchdown grab on the last play he's gonna pick up nine and get it very close to the sticks and now is where we just go into the shotgun and hand it off to not brian robinson this time but antonio gibson so again we got dual threat running backs here it's gonna be interesting to see how that little storyline plays out will antonio gibson be a big piece of the puzzle or will he just be used to trade to get uh, somebody more ideal two minute drill let's go get some points hey don't mind if I do. I am definitely down for that plan. Seems like a good one. And all we got to do is execute it. So let's have Logan Thomas block for us. Because uh, I can see some blitzers coming there off of the edge. And oh, I meant to hit triangle. I meant to hit triangle. Wow. <laughs> I swear you got to believe me. I meant to hit triangle, but I hit circle, which was Jahan Dotson. Luckily, it didn't uh, matter too much. We're going to try some PA crossers. Now, this play has typically been pretty broken in the past so we'll see uh maybe well i see terry if we can get it terry mclaurin is gonna be a problem in this franchise sam howell also by the way playing very good but terry mclaurin why is it not why is it not doing the moments here i want to i want to play the moments i don't want to play the whole game i just want to play the key moments oh it's a two minute drill that's why that's why i'm playing it it's a two minute drill and maybe I shouldn't have turned it back over to the CPU because they didn't do j jiddly jack, diddly dack, squaddily. What? I don't know what I'm talking about. It's third and 10. We got to go pick up some tough yards. Going to send uh, Dotson in motion here. See if somebody wants to get open on maybe one of these streaks. We're going to lob it up to our receiver. Oh, in the back corner of the end zone. Almost came down with that puppy, but unfortunately... We did not. Hey, He's going for a field goal attempt here for Joey Sly. Should be able to boot this thing through. You guys know I'm a terrible kicker, but 
I guess all those bullseyes I was hitting in the mini camp really got me revved up and riled up and ready to go because that was a good kick. And hey, we're actually, don't look now, but we're actually in the lead. 10-7. We'll see if the Bengals, Bengals do match us uh, before halftime. And I guess we're back on defense now. So it's first and goal. Yeah, the Bengals are about to score. So I guess our defense just decided to take a smoke break or something because they didn't do anything. Let the Bengals potentially double dip. Can someone, and they are double dipping. Joe Mixon has no manners. He double dips, and now the Bengals take the lead. We're back on defense. What is what is our what is our offense doing, man? What's our offense doing? I didn't even get a chance to play a moment on that one. I guess they didn't do anything. I should have. I definitely should have because I didn't even get it uh, unless we turned it over or something like that. Maybe we did, but the Bengals now are looking like they're about to go up even further. So I guess our defense needs some help. The message said, I don't know if you're going to get too much help from me, guys. Sorry to say, you might get more help from the CPU, as a matter of fact. But I don't know. I will give it the old college try. That much is for sure. So where's Joe going to go? Joe's going to go to Joe. That JoJo connection. And Bengals are about to score again. Fourth down alert. Keep this drive alive. All right, it's fourth and three. I think we can do it on some little drags. I think that's probably the move. Notice now, I don't know if you can hear it, stadium is silent. Something else they really gave some attention to. I feel like the crowd cheers when they're supposed to, and they really react to the plays. And now they're silent. So let's go pick this up. The fans want us to do it, and we are going to do it because Diami Brown catches that. And now we have Jacoby Brissett in. So we're seeing our quarterbacks split reps here as they should in the preseason. Uh, red zone alert. Now we're in the red zone. We're in the fourth quarter. It's first and 10. Ball's on the 15. Got to score here. Game's probably over, depending on what our good old CPU does. But, oh, there's Diami Brown again. He might also be a problem as a nice, solid fourth option. He got open on that in-breaking route there. And now it is second and two. How about draw play to Antonio Gibson? I like the draw plays in Madden 23. We'll see how they do here in 24. Well, if I could get... Just a couple blockers, you know, maybe just one, just one blocker. That would have made life a lot easier for me, but it's third and two. And we got to, got to, got to pick this up. Of course, it is four down territory, as we know, but I think that we can pick this up. I'm confident in our guys. Um, Just made the worst decision ever. I'm confident in our guys, but not confident in me. And that is how... The preseason is going to end. All right, so just a small sample size of the gameplay. Next episode, I'm going to be playing the real first game of the season. So, you know, this preseason, I wanted to obviously showcase the, the mini camp and the training camp. That's been a widely talked about feature. Of course, I wanted to unveil the relocation, give you guys a breakdown of the team and just kind of see if anything, you know, was different or anything was changing. So we're going to go ahead and. I'll probably stop this at the preseason bye week because a lot of important stuff happens there. And that's kind of where we'll pick up on the next episode. So Terry McLaurin, at least we got to see a nice touchdown reception to Terry McLaurin. And we're going to keep going deep threat, man. We're going to keep going deep threat. We had T Higgins in the Austin Armadillos franchise and those Moss opportunities were on full display. Terry McLaurin, much different type of player than T. Higgins, but maybe he could be our T. Higgins 2.0. I don't know. So we lost in the preseason there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sim to the preseason bye week, and that is where we will put a bow on this thing. Sentinels did go 2-1, by the way, in the preseason. Only game we lost is the game I played. We're going to have to cut 19 players next week, but we're going to see our first look at the brand new team next episode so make sure you tune into that if you guys are fired up for this series hit that like button if you're not subscribed to the channel but you're still watching right now you might as well subscribe because you're here you must be enjoying the content at least somewhat and i plan on pumping out the content hot and heavy so as oh, that's gonna do it for me tonight guys as always i appreciate you stopping by i will catch you on the next one until then peace